If Pyros and Crips all got along, they probably got me down by the end of the song. Seem like the whole city go against me. Every time I'm in the street, I hear da, 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 Okay, so I'm not gonna sit here and try and convince you that Shangri-La is the best zombie map of all time like I did with Call of the Dead. I'm instead just gonna try and convince you that it doesn't suck as much as people think it does. I mean, there's a couple of bad things here and there, but the map as a whole is really solid and it... Okay. What? That was bullshit. <laughs> it was really stupid. Anyway, what I was saying... What was I saying? I don't know, it's something to... What was it about the that map not being... You, you gotta be kidding. What is wrong with me? I thought I was really good at the zombies, what the fuck? Okay, map is not as... Yeah, the, the map is actually really good and it's completely so... Okay, what the fuck? Okay, after a long relaxing ice bath, I've now come to the conclusion that the reason people hate this map is because it's difficult. Which doesn't mean the map is necessarily terrible, it just means that everyone but me sucks at zombies, apparently. And people are gonna complain, saying, Oh, but the bosses are really difficult, and I, I didn't say that wrong then, there are bosses on this map. There, there are three, or two and a half, because one's a monkey, which doesn't really count. <laughs> But the main bosses on this map consist of one, which definitely didn't skip leg day that I like to call Blue Sane Bolt. Blue Sane Bolt is basically a banshee and his weapon is screaming at your face. Hello! Can you hear me? Loud noises! And the other main boss on this map is basically Satan. Okay, so basically it's just a zombie on fire that if you get too close to, he jihads your ass. But he kind of reminds me a lot of George Romero in the fact that he just lumbers around extremely slowly and just sort of pops up here and then. Hello! He also takes a lot of bullets like George Romero, which can definitely be a problem, unless you have a ray gun. Off of my foot! And the monkeys that I mentioned earlier are kind of a boss because they don't really do a lot to affect you as a player. The monkeys will always show up when you get a droppable perk from the zombies and they will try and steal it from you and take it to the waterfall, at which point you will not be able to use it. Run, bitch! Run! However, if you do pick up the droppable perk before they do, they then come after you and steal 10 points from you. <laughs> Although if you're able to kill them before they hit you, you get 500 points, which is absolutely ridiculous, but is also strangely necessary. Because trust me, if there is anything on this map that you need, it's points. You need a lot of points for the same reason you need points on other maps, is to buy lots of stuff, but you're going to find yourself going down a lot more on Shangri-La, so you're going to need to buy a lot more perks. Speaking of perks, a lot of them return from previous zombie maps, like Call of the Dead's Deadshot Daiquiri, which, on this map, makes no sense because you don't have any time to aim for the head. Steady, steady! Ah, piss! And although it's extremely difficult to use it for its intended purpose on this map, PhD is still fantastic. The reason PhD is difficult to use is because there's not a lot of places you can actually jump from a height to actually land in a place where zombies can be. And there's also not a lot of room on the map, so you're going to find yourself getting hit a lot. No, 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 no. The other thing I like to do is get PhD flopper, which means you don't take explosive damage, and get a ray gun. <laughs> And 
then the other weapon I tend to go for is the Wonder Weapon on this map, which everybody hates simply because it is on Shangri-La. You could put this Wonder Weapon on any other map and it would be the best gun ever. And people hate it so much that they even forget its name. I mean, it's only called the 3179 JGB215. I mean, how can you forget that? And what the 3179 JGB215 basically does is it allows you to shrink zombies down to about shin height, which not only makes them insta-kill to basically anything. No, I'm a real doctor. <laughs> you see what I did there? With the joking. But the creators of this gun also thought, I know, let's make the zombies kickable. <laughs> and because it dishes out basically instant death to anything you shoot at, it literally makes everything seem a lot smaller. <laughs> the entire time you've been watching this video, you've probably been asking yourself, why did you call the video what you did? And when you break it down, it's actually pretty simple. The primitive part comes from the fact that you're in an ancient temple. And the prostate exam side of things mostly comes from the fact that it seems like most of the stuff on this map is trying to enter your rectum. I mean, you've got a whole list. You have the spikes outside of Spawn, which are there just to piss you off. Like wind in the leader hood. <laughs> you've got the geysers that fire you up into the sky. And considering Rick Toffin's reaction as he goes down the water slide, you can kind of guess where the water's going. <laughs> Even though the water slide on this map is kind of pointless, there are a lot of things on this map which a lot of people forget about, and I certainly forgot about when I decided to make this video. The Monkey Bombs make their triumphant return after being absent from the previous two zombie maps, and the way I like to use them on Shangri-La is to put them in such a position that it makes the zombies look like that they're actually afraid of it. There is also part of the map that is called the Mud Temple, or as most people call it, that place that you never go. The first thing that happens when you enter this area is you step on a panel, and then as you run forward, walls will start to close around you, which will then create a random path which will take you to one of three areas, either in front of you, there can be no fun, to the side of you, Or even back the way you came. You're probably thinking, well, what if I don't stand on this panel? Well, good luck running through the mud instead. Despite how annoying it is, this map still does have a very special place in my heart. I've had hours of fun on this map, even though a lot of it was incredibly stressful. But I've got to say, in terms of Call of Duty zombie maps, Shangri-La has to be one of my favourites, just because of the nostalgia I get with it. I love the Black Ops. Okay, this is just absolute bollocks. This map is tits. Fuck off.